Hey guys, quick note. First of all, a very exciting thing. I did a collaboration with a friend YouTuber of mine, Yvonne Blasquez, and we did a super awesome interview video which just went live on his channel today. So I'm going to put a link for that down below. Make sure to check it out. It's, it was really, really fun. He interviewed me about my nutritarian lifestyle and things like that. And I am inter I also interviewed him. And I'll be posting that video um, very, very soon in the next couple weeks. So make sure you look out for that one too. And it was really fun. So bye. Good morning. Breakfast is served. I made a smoothie like yesterday. So this is a... Mm. almond orange smoothie. I was going to put carob in, but I forgot. And I used extracts again. So this is my orange extract, which has a bunch of orange extract outside of it, so it looks all messy. Orange extract, and I also used almond extract. And I'll put links for these down below. So I did the same thing I did yesterday. Almond milk, dates, kale, romaine, banana, some mixed berries, an orange, and then almond butter. And then I did a little bit of the extracts, so it tastes delicious. I also am making, again, here's what I'm doing today. So, I have a mug of hot water, literally just hot water, and there's stevia in there, in this little um, thing. <laughs> um, so I'm just steeping some stevia to make it a little sweeter. And here's, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do after this. So let me take this out. Okay, so now I have some, just some sweet water. I'm gonna cool it off and make it a little creamy with this almond milk. Now it's pretty decent temperature, and now I'm just gonna have um, matcha tea today. So I'm gonna add a few shakes of this, and this is gonna be my nice um, tea for breakfast. I'm having it along with this smoothie to keep me warm. <laughs> uh, oops, I'm, I was, I'm always looking at what I'm doing and not at the camera, sorry guys. I'm going to just mix this in and then I'm just having this sweet, creamy matcha tea for, I mean, I suppose I would call this like a matcha latte or something. Like a latte, basically. That's awesome. Yay! It's really good. I love the matcha with just the almond milk, but with the little bit of stevia in there, it's really nice. It's a really nice, little sweet latte kind of deal. Mm. You guys, I forgot I have this little milk frother. Uh, it's for frothing milk, but it's also for um, making matcha. So I'll show this to you guys soon. Okay. See you later. Alright guys, I decided to do a little bit of prep work for lunch today, which is making me hungry. <laughs> but let me show you what I'm making. So I prepped my kale for my kale salad for later. All I've been doing is just stripping the kale. I use the dino kale, stripping the kale off of it, bringing it into tiny pieces, and then smushing it for about a minute so it gets real soft. And then I put all the rest of the ingredients on it. This is what I'm going to put on it today. I have an avocado that's ripe, amazingly. I never have avocado, but I decided to get some this week. Um, hemp seeds pumpkin and sunflower seeds. I'll use a little bit of each. Nutritional yeast, of course, and then a little bit of salt and a little bit of oil. Well, actually, I don't need the oil today because I'm using the avocado. So a little bit of salt, maybe. I'm going to just put that in the salad. Let me put this away. Here's my spice cabinet. Oh, it's so beautiful. It smells so good. More oil back. Then I made, as I was telling you, I wanted to make some stuffed portobello mushrooms, so I made a pesto. And guys, it turned out so good. It's basically, um, this is the basil. So I ended up just ripping off most of the basil off of that thing, off of the plant. It's not all perfect. I had to throw some of it out, but that's okay. And then I put, so I put a bunch of basil in. I put a bunch of arugula in. A bunch of pine nuts. A bunch of walnuts. A tiny bit of oil, but I probably didn't need it. A little bit of salt and a bunch of lemon juice, like a big half lemon juice. And then three cloves of garlic. Um, probably used, let's see, a cup, probably two cups of basil, two cups of arugula, 
uh, three quarters of a cup pine nuts, half a cup of walnuts, and that's about what I put in. So in case you're interested, I might put this on the side at some point, but it's yummy. And then as I said, I think I'm just going to bake these a little bit, then stuff them with it and bake them again, and I'll have lunch later. Or dinner, not sure. Now I have to figure out a way to just not eat this all. <laughs> Time to assemble my lunch. All right, so I have my pesto here. I could just fill, or right, and I've I've cooked the mushrooms just by themselves in a glass dish. Glass dish, a uh, glass dish, glass dish for about 20, 25 minutes. They let off a lot of water. I didn't even need to use any oil, so that's something to know about them. So just put them in the pan, bake them. But then, see, I, it's just that this is so much nuts and a little bit of oil and stuff, so there's so much fat in here. I wouldn't, I mean, you know, normally if you were doing a recipe that you didn't care about Nutritaria and stuff, you would just put half of this in the mushrooms and bake them. But I kind of want to stretch it out a little bit because it's just so many nuts. So I cooked up the stems of the portobello mushrooms, just chopped those up with a little bit of broccoli, and I'm going to combine that with the pesto and actually made this also made this quinoa so I'm gonna add a little bit of the quinoa in as well just to kind of have less of this you know what I mean because um, I've been snacking on this having a couple bites since I made it oh my gosh it's so good but it is very heavy so I'm gonna just thin it out a little bit all right that is delicious thinned it out still tastes amazing I'm just gonna pile it into these mushrooms Bake it for another 20 minutes, and they'll be done. All right, I have piled it high in there. I'm going to bake these now. I still have some leftover. Um, I'm not really sure what I'll do with that. I could just put this over a salad, actually. That would be really delicious. I'm going to bake this now, and yay. Okay, finished product. Beautiful mushrooms, and I made my salad. This salad, you guys, jeez. I mean, what? You used avocado, so clearly it's got a lot more stuff in it. And I did not forget the nutritional yeast today. Thank God. Um, what? Kill. Okay. This is so good. <laughs> I could not get that piece of kale off my lip. I used a little salt. But that's the only non nutritarian thing I used. I used a tiny bit of salt in this recipe too, but it's really spread out because of the amount of, um, you know, stuffing in there. So I'm going to dig in. Bite number one. It's kind of hot. Hold on. Mmm, mmm. Yeah, you guys, huge success. When I've made stuffed portobellos like this before, there's always way too much salt and too much oil. So this one I made it nutritarian. So good still. I mean, it's delicious. What I love about the mushroom is it's like, it's kind of like a piece of meat. It feels, it really does feel like, um, I mean, to me, meaty. The perfect little vehicle for the topping and with this I mean there's a lot of nuts in it and stuff but I don't feel so guilty about that so I'm just gonna eat until my heart's content and have the kale salad as well a little bit more fat and stuff than I maybe should have as a nutritarian but this is way better than the way I've been eating before so here we go finished on my lunch we have three of these left, <laughs> so hopefully I just won't buy any more. Quick announcement, you guys. So this Realtor.com promotion that I'm promoting to you guys, <laughs> I just wanted to let you know it has been extended until November the 28th. So you have some time to enter this contest. Um, 
even if you don't have a Whole Foods nearby, it's something that you can still enter because they, I think, are going to be doing, um, you can see it in the official rules, but they'll be doing substitutions if you don't have a Whole Foods nearby. So this is a grand prize of $2,000 to Whole Foods, you guys. It's seriously something you should enter. Um, so I'm going to put a link down below for this contest again. Please go check it out. You have a really good chance of being able to win, and you could just have some cash to pay for your Thanksgiving goodies and every other grocery trip for the next several months um, to get you through. So go sign up for it, and I'm going to be um, giving you another little announcement about it in a week or so to let you know that you should really sign up <laughs> for reals because um, it's going to be really good. So very easy. Just choose a recipe, make it. Explain why you love it and why it's so good, photograph it, post it on their site, and that's your entry. Super easy, and you have nothing to lose. It's a, There's a $2,000 prize, I think there's a $1,000 prize, and then there's $500 prizes as well. So totally worth it, guys. Check it out. That's all I'm going to say. It ends on the 28th, so get to it.